guys, welcome to Rohan Raya Fun Times. Under ki namaskar. Hello everybody. Today we are gonna do a video on how we take care of indoor plants. We were never into these indoor plants, but man, this pandemic made us do. So they give so much of happiness. First thing when they survive. Second thing when they start giving new flowers or new leaves. So. Kids are gonna help me to bring all the plants outside, and we are gonna show how we take care of them. And based on our experience, we will show you what to do, what not to do to keep them happy. If we do any mistakes, and if you want to, if you need to learn anything, please do let us know. We'll be happy to make our plants more happy. So, kids, are you ready? Yes. So you help me with small plants, and I'm gonna bring big plants. Okay. Let's go. Show you in the pictures later. What are condoms? 
Yeah, there is a different kinds of plants. You don't so know 26 about. plus 4 Rohan. Huh? <laughs> 26 plus 4, what does it equal? Oh, sorry. Yeah, so we got 30 plants. No, no not including the outside plants. Yeah, that's like 40 plants. Yeah, we are not counting outside plants. But we have like 40 plants all in total. Yeah, including all our Okay, so my mom is going to take it from here, so we're going to go. Peace. Bye. Once a month, I bring all the plants outside. I give them a very quick light shower to clean the leaves. You don't have to do this, but I just like to spend time with them and just to inspect the plants, just to make sure they're doing well and okay. So let's just give some water. You really don't have to soak. Now we are going to fertilize the plants with this. This is organic Neptune fish and seaweed fertilizer. So for indoor house plants, it's one tablespoon per gallon. So I'm. This is almost like two gallons of water. I'm going to use two tablespoons. Yeah, I'm not measuring exactly, but so I'm gonna happy already chewed on this. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of this fertilizer and give a quick mix. happy broke this so I'm going to use this glass for big plants I'm going to use two glasses for medium plants one glass and small plants half glass maybe so give a good mix gave them a quick shower and we fertilized now we let them sit some time so water water gets drained and then we go put them back inside where they belong but this is all we do you don't have to bring them outside you can just keep them inside and fertilize and uh, i want to tell a few things so when we got plants at the beginning when we were the beginners i killed so many plants let me tell you why so as soon as you bring the plants from the nursery don't try to report them immediately because they get into shock and there are more chances that you may kill them so let them be in their own pots and try to adjust your house environment and second thing when you when they are ready to report don't report into a much bigger plant just like i did so if you see for example here this one when it was ready i reported into a bigger one than needed so it really struggled initially it took really long time and it is doing much better now and even if you see here this one actually this was a small plant but if you see the pot i reported into a very bigger pot so just go to the immediate next size but don't report into the bigger ones because water may stay inside the pot and more chances for roots to get rotten and kill the plant 
when you report always try to report into the nursery pots because it is much easy for you to switch between your uh, fancy pots when you when they grow and third thing watering it is always i mean based on my experience it's always good to underwater than overwater because uh, when you overwater there are more chances for roots to get to go rotten and then it may kill the plant so just keep on schedule but some plants really need water more often some plants they can go longer without water so i always keep the finger just poke my finger in the uh, mud and then i if it is too dry i just pour some water otherwise i'll just once in two weeks my schedule is once in two weeks but there are some very specific plants like peace lily it really needs water once a week so i just check the uh, mud and then if it is dry i pour water it is this is very dramatic plant if you don't pour water it will show you it droop it droops its leaves uh, so it will really ask for water and uh, you can even use the this thing the soil moisture this is really good one there are very good reviews on amazon i really didn't get a chance to play with it so if you see it shows dry moist and wet so i already poured water let's see wet so when the soil is dry it shows dry so this is really good and it is really working very good but I really don't use it because I just use my finger but I really liked on Amazon I just bought it just in case if there are any specific plants that I really don't know how to water I just thought I got I get it and also light so when it comes to the plants all plants are outdoor plants I think we just came with the concept of indoor plants so just play with the plants some are like really need bright light so keep near the window where they get more bright light and when you have many plants there are more chances of getting gnats or some flies so this is what worked for us the insecticidal soap is this organic uh, yes this is organic but i think you can just go with any dish soap or insecticidal soap and even the neem oil works really well so neem oil just be careful with some plants initially i killed some plants because neem oil is little hard on the plants so just test little bit but most of the plants even the neem oil works really well some plants were sensitive so it burned the leaves yeah and then the other thing that we do is mist we because plants just love the uh, humidity so I just missed once a week whenever I get if you are a beginner and if you really want to get some plants let me give you an idea so this uh, snake plant oh my god this is very easy plant uh, we have two I keep one on near the TV table and uh, one in my uh, bedroom they are the easiest plants they grow really well they don't need any care all you need is just water them when the soil is dry and even the pontos so this is one pontos that i have in the hall living room and i have four pontos in my uh, uh, house i'll show i'll share the pictures so one in the prayer room it is blooming very well i don't know it looks like it liked the spot and it is growing very good this is the room where we use for yoga meditation we keep this room empty and uh, this is so this is doing very well and we have one on the upstairs this is going growing crazy and we have one on the fireplace even this is doing really really well and we have one in the kitchen that is doing well but it's not really going so well but that is doing good because it is always in the dark spot so pontos and snake plant they are very easy plants if you really want to try with the plant with the plants so yeah uh that's it guys and uh, if there is anything that we need to learn on the plants or if we, if we do anything mistake feel free to let us know we'll be happy to learn and keep our plants more happy but that's it today guys let me just call my kids so they can say bye hey guys that's it for today hopefully we give some tips <gasps> on the hey, plants Matt, you can use them on your plants also yes 
and help us if there are any suggestions. So that's it for today. And make you can keep a comment if you want us to do outside plants. Hey everybody, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye! Bye! Bye.